Department for the Police Department. I'm the lead investigator on the Watts case. Okay. Um, somewhere along the line, you made some statements about how you know Chris. Um, yeah, I met um, on Tinder at the beginning of like Marchish. Okay. And it was just like, I don't know, it was like fast and furious. I have a whole bunch of like articles written about me. And I think that's kind of like crossing over with the other girl. But like people have been like taking random pictures of me just walking down the street. And um, I just, you know, I, I just, I have no idea what to say, you know, I mean, it was, we just met once and... Okay, and this was March of... This year. This year, 2018, and you met on Tinder? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what, uh, <clears throat> I've never used Tinder, is there like a username, or how does that work? Um, yeah, so, um, it's just like a profile you create. I've gotten back on there, um, because you can deactivate it and reactivate it. It can either go off like your Facebook or Gmail, or you can just make a whole new like, account or something like that. And um, yeah, and um, so I went back and checked, in, and his profile wasn't there, so he just deleted it on him. And okay, and what was his profile name? I don't remember. It was just said Chris. Did it have like a picture? It said Chris. Mm-hmm. And the pictures I remember he posted were him. He was. It was like. I guess like a catfish thing, but he used another guy's like picture. It looked similar, and it was definitely not the guy in the picture when I met him. I said it was just like like a one-time thing, like on the the. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. It's okay. No, just relax. Like, I thought it was yeah. nothing to hide, nothing at all. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just it's a little bit overwhelming, but. You know, and it's humiliating on like my end. It makes me feel, you know, come off as a whore. But you know, I mean. So just walk me through from the time, the one time that you said you met Chris, the tenant. Just walk me through that day, evening, whatever it was, that time period. Um, I don't know. We just uh, met. Um, I don't know, it's like so blurry. Um, and we just like met at the parking lot at Chick fil A. I don't know, it sounds funny. <laughs> and um, well, I got something to drink, and then we just went back to my house. And You both went back to your mm -hmm. house? Okay, so what's, uh, like me. what's, uh, what's Chick fil A with it? One um, on Center Place. On Center Place? Uh huh. So he drove here? Yeah. And like, I, I just, it's around like the February, March time period. I, I just, I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I'm not up, but, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, sound like a whore or not, but, you know, I through a nasty divorce and, you know, my kids are in Vermont, and so I just kind of went wild. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge you for that. That's not that's not the purpose of this meeting, so don't worry about that. Okay. I don't care. Um, so talk to me just a little bit about where you met up. Um, you said that the Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. Did you both drive there? Mm -hmm. Okay, what was he driving? He was driving a truck. Okay, what did that truck look like? Uh, I think it was like Navy or something. Navy? Yeah, like blue, black, something like that. Okay. Do you know what kind of truck? Yeah. Is it just a pickup? Anything specific about it or unique about it? Mm-hmm. I remember. And then, I remember, just kind of, I don't know, I, I got something to drink and then we just like, it was like so humiliating for me, I mean, because, I mean, the meetup was just about sex. So we kind of just like went and, you know, just, you know, met him somewhere. And it wasn't like a, I know it's kind of funny now, but I was like, killer. <laughs> and, you know, no radars went off or anything. And so, I mean, it's just like scary. Like, I had this guy in my home. And, you know, we, you know, had sex. Um, and he left. Was that in the truck? 
So you, so you, you both pull up at the Chick-fil-A, and he pulls up in the navy blue truck, and you pull up in your car. What happened? Just walk me through that with a little bit of detail. Um, I just embarrassing, like... Don't worry about that. That's just us in this room, and I, I could care less about that kind of stuff. Um, so it's just to kind of just get a, like, a picture of, like, him, like, what a, you know, like, like a character, like, kind of thing. Um, so I remember he walked over to my car, um, I drive a, a Honda CRV, and we're like, oh, you want to go in or anything? And so, um, I just, I went inside, um, he, um, stayed out there and I got some drink and then we just sat down and talked for a little bit. I remember talking to him about the Anadarko. <clears throat> where he worked because my ex-husband tried to get on with them, but he had a history um, of like domestic violence and everything, so they wouldn't hire him. And so I remember that conversation, and he was like, "Oh, that's funny." Um, so I just, yeah, I just remember that. And then um, he said that he was like split from his um, Hong Kong baby mama, and um, she wouldn't let him see his kids, and I remember kind of clicking with him about that because my boys are in Vermont with my next husband and it's been a nasty battle. And so, um, and then, um, so that was kind of like the conversation and then we agreed to go back to my, um, my place and we did it and we left and that was the end of the conversation. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, the Tinder thing, Get a couple questions about how that works. So, is that just like a, a app where you can chat? Yeah, you swipe left or right, and, and uh, yeah, that's, and then if you match, then you can talk. If, if not, you move on. So, did you, have, did you actually talk on the phone with them before you met? Like, hey, meet me at the Chick fil A? How does that work? Um, so, we talked back and forth. And then um, I, I had a, a different number um, through like a text now app just because it was really like, um, I'm really like funny about who has my my like number. Like I'm, I'm all about like my privacy and stuff. So um, I was talking to him through like a text now app. Um, I no longer have my phone. Um, I do have a new one, but I'm kind of like, I don't have to on this one. But yeah, I mean, it's just a, a regular dating app, like plenty of fish or like Cupid or something. Okay. So then, so then how did you arrange the meeting at Chick-fil-A? Um, through Tinder. I mean, through, how did you actually, is it all texting or is it all, how did, did you say meet me at Chick-fil-A at, 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 on Center Place or? Mm -hmm. I do remember that. How does he? How did he know to find you? Um, because he had that text now number. It was a. It's a number that I use. Um, to like talk to people, like uh, my clients or something like that. Um, because I do hair, mm -hmm. and uh, and said so I don't like um, people having like my you know actual phone number. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so it was a, a text now app. I said this was a, a long time ago. Um, I couldn't even, you know, tell you what number he had. Like, I just, I don't have anything, like. So he called you on his text now phone number? Mm-hmm. So he oh, didn't call me. He was, it was all through text and stuff. It was all through text, mm -hmm. but you don't recommend the number? Mm-hmm. Okay. About what time do you think that was? Like what you mean, what time will it be? Like time of day, night? Um, let's see, so like the day or two before, we just like, you know, talk like, hey, what's up? And then it was just more of like a spur of the moment, like, thing, I don't know. But I mean, what, what, what time of... The day did we like... Yeah, went? was it in the evening when you were there at the... Yeah, it was At the Chick-fil-A? Mm -hmm. Was it in the evening? About what time do you think, though? Mm -hmm. 
fish. It was after I got off of work and I went straight there. I got off of work at seven, so. So we were pretty much on to be the drive there? Mm hmm. Okay, so you're messaging while you're at work about where to be, you know? Um, while well, I was at work, yeah, I might have said to meet there. And, and just, uh, and just meet and, and do it, you know? I mean, it, it's just, it's pretty hard for me to talk about because I had to explain to my parents, you know, like seven years at my door, you know? I mean, it's just like, you know, I mean, like I said, like after, you know, my boys left from the divorce and stuff like that, I just went and like, that shit crazy and just, you know, hooked up with, yeah, I, I, you I, know, I, I mean, it's just, that, 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 that. it's just, you know, I, I wish I could <coughs> remember more details, you know, but like, seriously, like, it's so shameful for me to say, you know, up until like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I would say like, I just was able to calm down and, you know, like, um, I also had, like, a brain injury, um, last year, trying to brain injury, and I think that kind of, um, contributes to my memory and stuff like that, but... How did that occur? Don't mind me asking. Um, I, it was in January of last year, and I fell and hit my head on, on ice, and it was hard, and, um, I just remember waking up, um, uh, I was in that basement apartment, um, it wasn't that, um, <clears throat> it wasn't that Chris or that, and um, I remember, um, my mom, I, I did pick up my daughter from school, and, um, my mom kind of thought that was weird, and, um, she came to the, I don't know how I made it back into the house, but she came in, and next thing I know, like, I woke up in ICU, so, I mean, I was there for, like, five days, and, recovered pretty well. It was a subdermal hematoma, and so... Okay. Okay, so after the Chick-fil-A, take me from there. Um, you just followed me to my place. And I lived at the time clear on um, 18th Avenue. Do you remember the address? 1801. <coughs> okay, I'm listening. And, um, and then we got out, um, kind of, I, I smoked a cigarette, and we went inside, and it was really late. Fast, it was really aggressive, and then he left. Okay, and what do you mean by fast and aggressive? He was very, like, rough. That's all I'm, I'm going to say. And, like, I don't know, like, in all honesty, like, it's just, I, I'm not, like, you know, I just, like, remember seeing that face, and, um, you know, the tattoos and the Anadargo job and stuff like that and the name. But other than that, like, you know, like, like I said, like, I, before, like, I couldn't pick out, like, 90% of the guys that I've been with, you know, and, like, I know it sounds awful, but, you know, like, you know, it just seems unreal that, you know, I would know somebody that did that, like, you know, I keep having these doubts, so I just, you know, I was not 100% sure, I mean, it's just like that all the details, you know, match, like, you know, it's just... So what, <clears throat> what point did he tell you his name? In the app. In the app? He told you his name was Chris Watts in the app? Well, not Watts, I mean, you, get it. you know, you just put your first name. Okay, so he never told you his name was Watts? So I do know it's him. Um, I just recognized the face and everything. Tell me about his tattoos. I remember they were on his back and his arms, but other than that, I don't. I just, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. He had tattoos on his arms and 
on his on his back. That and I just like I said, I'm not a strong witness or anything like that. It's just an interaction they have with my friend. Do you remember seeing the tattoos on his legs? You said, describe what you mean by aggressive when he was aggressive with you. I really don't want to say much. I really don't. Well, it's a pretty important case, so. Mm -hmm. We're now in the middle of it. What's that? You're now in the middle of it, at least this part of it. So you you said that he was being aggressive, so you need to tell me what that's about. And I was told to not really like say much without a lawyer. I just don't want to incriminate myself anyway. Well, I can tell you that I'm not looking into any criminal means you have to, as a witness. Okay. So don't worry about that. Um, I don't know. I just remember kind of, it was like, I don't know. It, it's just like, it, it's hard to explain. It was like a... It's, it, it's humiliating um, for me to talk about, like, it, it really is, mm -hmm. like, you know, I mean, he was rough, as in, you know, it's just, <laughs> he tried to, you know, like, stick it in my butt, <laughs> so it's yeah. weird, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, but what, what else that was aggressive, or... Mm -hmm. How did you like feel? pulling my hair and putting his arms around my my uh, neck. It was like a, a rape fantasy thing. That's how I you know right. like describe it. Um, it's really like you know I mean I just remember thinking like what the fuck when he left. Like I actually had to like push him off me at one point. Okay. I'm sorry, but I have to ask that. Back up a little bit. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I guess. Um, let me pull some up. Okay. 
So somehow my messenger is still um, active, even though I deleted my, my Facebook. I don't know how that works, but like I didn't accept them. But this one's like. So the content of them is like that. And um, back uh, how this started is um, on my big mouth. Um, I was I joined a group. Um, it was like this Kimberly Kessler um, this thing in um, in Florida, this hairdresser that went missing, and um, he was like one of her co-workers of um, of her uh, disappearance. And so it was called like a slew um, group or something like that, and they created one about the lost case. And um, there's something about like, oh, I wonder if you know there was a history of infidelity. And stupid me, I'm like, well, I can, I met this guy on Tinder, and I'm not even kidding. Within like two hours, I had like 400 notifications and you know like 30 messages, and like I, I deleted it, I deleted everything, I deleted my you know like Facebook, and then you know just all of a sudden like you know reporters and news people have got like they they track down my phone number, they track down my email addresses, and you know, even like you know, know where I work and, you know, I was like put on suspension at work because of those pictures and stuff floating around they don't want. The picture you just showed me? Yeah, my boss sent me that. Can you pull that back up for me? Can I take a picture of that? So when you said that I met this guy on Tinder, who are you referring to? Chris. Chris, Chris Watts? Yes. And that's how everything got out. Yeah. And when did that happen? Um, I want to say like a couple of of days after it came out that he that he killed her, that he killed his family. So it was like when it was discovered that all the details. So it was a couple of weeks ago, um, probably like. Timeline wise, let's see. Because I was at work, so I, you know, I don't have cable or anything. Everything I see is from, you know, Facebook, and I'm not on very much. And um, so, like, I had no idea any of this was going on until I joined the group. Um, I saw, you know, like, the. Uh, it, it's weird because um, one of my my friends or is uh so Nicole you talked about used to be her name she was my manager over at um, Supercuts here in Greeley and um, she was Shanann's best friend um, she's the one that did all the you know the interviews and stuff like that and so I saw um, something on her um, on her Facebook about like Shanann missing and stuff and so I knew like that part but I didn't know, like, it was about Chris. Mm -hmm. So it was a small world. So, so you said Nicole, you and Nicole worked together? A long time ago. And that was how long ago? Uh, that was when I was still married. Probably like 2013, I want to say 2013. Okay, do you know when you said you talked? Mm -hmm. And at where? Supercuts. Where did it go? Oh, um, by Walmart and um, Noodles, on um, just West Ten here. Okay. Back and forth with this the whole time. I am like 
you know, like, I, honestly, like, all the other guys that I've, you know, hooked up with, I really couldn't point them out in the crowd, you know, I just went, like, just crazy, like, that's all I can, like, I really say, like, you know, that's all these, these men, you know, like, you know, I'm, I honestly, you know, I just 99.9% sure it was him. Okay. Like, I, I wish I had more, really, wish I had more than Chris, it's your house. You can go inside with us if you'd like, or you can stay out here. It doesn't matter to us. It doesn't matter. I mean, free range, whatever you got to do. Okay. Like, I can show on the back from the side of the sun. But okay. Cool. All right. Whatever you'd like. 
How long have you guys been married? So, we've been together eight years, married six this year. Okay. And this is very unusual behavior? Yeah, can you get that dog out of here? Okay. She's gonna Door, the garage door, how do you guys? I usually open the garage door, come in. Okay. She's front of her garage, it's kind of tense. Okay. Is that a ring out there? Oh, that was. No, the doorbell, is that a ring? Yeah, like, if, like when it when you got a visitor, it does, and but I don't think the speaker is on to where you hear it, like by. Okay. My question, I guess my question for you is would it show her leaving with the kids? Did you have okay. any if alerts? Not, if she came out here, yes. Like if... Did you have any alerts today with that? Just when her friends were here. Does it only record when the doorbell rings or anytime if someone? If you're like right here, it should start the proximity should hit up. Okay, and if you had any, anything on that today? Just her friends. And what time was that? 12.10, and about about 10, 10 minutes afternoon. Okay, but nothing between the time when she got here? No, like she got here at 2. Only this thing morning? Was, yeah, 2, two, two o'clock this morning. Okay. Like 148 on here. And the only thing that was weird was that the garage door set is left open after I left. And it might have been the sensor, but like my phone doesn't show when it when For it your shut. alarm? Yeah, it doesn't show if it shuts. And who's so, your alarm to? This one. Okay. But the Nikki, her friend that was that came here about 12 10, she said the garage door shut when she got here. So okay. That was the only thing that was weird. All right. Were you going to hang out out there or you want to come in here? Okay. Where's the person? Oh my God. I'm still recording, so. Yeah. Thank you. 